Welcome to this moment of mindfulness. So, as usual, I'll be introducing today's topic uh, and then we will do the practice together. So, if you've been following along these guided uh, weekly sessions, you know that we are in the middle of exploring the seven factors of awakening. And we've come to the last one, the seventh factor, which is equanimity. Equanimity of mind, balance, centeredness of mind. And this is really central to the whole notion of the Dharma, these teachings of the Buddha and the path of mindfulness. This um, equanimity, the balance, the poise of mind, which enables us to stay centered in ourselves in the midst of the roller coaster ride and all the circumstances that are happening in life. So, really fundamentally, it is about deconditioning the mind from reactivity. We are so deeply programmed to react to the circumstances of our lives. Uh, we react to pleasant sensations. We try to grasp on and hold on and create more of that. It's creating a form of addiction to pleasure and at the same time, uh, aversion towards whatever is discomfort, whatever is uh, unpleasant or, or there's discomfort in the body. There's a pushing away and there's a shutting out, there's a numbing out in whatever way that expresses. And then we tend to ignore whatever is neutral, just uh, being run by these external circumstances, strengthening the conditioning of reactivity, obviously leaving no room for freedom. And this is in a way the opposite of liberation. So the factor and the quality of mind, which is known as equanimity, is really the, the key to liberate ourselves from reactivity and to be able to expand and hold whatever situation, circumstance and experience in our lives without leaving ourselves, without falling into reactive pattern. So going from reactivity to spaciousness and the ability to respond wisely, and so so in a way, this is the um, this is the key of the path, which is sometimes known as the middle way, is that we can remain centered uh, without falling into extremes and without falling into reactivity. So. This goes back also in terms of practice. There are various ways to cultivate this uh, quality of mind and as we explore with the factors of awakening they are sequential so they tend to unfold naturally as we go deeper into our practice so this ability to stay equanimous with the mind is a result of our practice so last week we explored the, the factor of concentration this ability to really narrow in and focus and stay with our mind and from there something opens up, there's space opening up and we can include space around and the entire circumstance of our lives uh, with this quality of equanimity. It's like going from uh, shamatha to vipassana in a way. It's opening up and then staying with our experience without uh, becoming reactive to our experience. So the practice that we're going to do today is very similar to what we did way back when we explored the second foundation of mindfulness, which is these feeling tones, the Vedana, and our reactive patterns toward the pleasant, unpleasant, and neutral sensations in the body, because really everything comes back to the body. What is here now? What are we experiencing now beyond ideas and, and stories about what's happening? But what's happening in the body, this is where we can access the root of our reactive behavior and also start to decondition that pattern. So we will um, be doing a practice where we uh, come into our bodies and we acknowledge our sensations without reactivity. And so um, I invite you to come into your seated position. We'll just take a few breaths. If you want, you can close your eyes and just finding your upright seated position where the spine can be open, relaxing any obvious tension, muscles in the face, 
shoulders, the diaphragm and the abdomen can all just soften, letting go of any unnecessary tension that you may be holding in this moment. And just breathing with what is here now. Just initially settling in, arriving back to this moment, allowing yourself to let go of whatever got you here today, whatever's been happening before, and ideas about what's about to happen after. Just giving yourself this moment, this short glimpse, this practice, this breathing room, in your day to just be with what is here now. Just locating the breath in the body without needing to improve anything at all, without needing to change anything. Shifting from this mindset of doing and fixing and striving to just being, being aware, being awareness, making room for the breath moving in and out, feeling it in the body, and just softening into that experience, knowing that what you're experiencing right now is okay. Again, feeling where can you sense the breath in the body? Perhaps in the sternum, the rib cage, the chest area. Perhaps the diaphragm or all the way down into the abdomen. Wherever you feel the breath, just notice and resist the temptation to fix the breath by forcing it to become deeper or slower. No need to change. Through mindful awareness, just noting the breath. Over time, this will melt tensions, resistance, which will make the breath more natural, more uncontrived, more relaxed. And the whole nervous system and the body will follow and the mind will settle. But this is not something we're striving for. It's a consequence of sinking into mindful awareness of the breath. So continuing to track how the breath feels in the body right now. Perhaps there is some contraction or tension or discomfort as the breath moves. And if so, see if you can resist the temptation to uh, fix it or to escape from it. And just acknowledge, acknowledge the somatic sensation. Also acknowledge the tendency 
to react to the sensation. Acknowledge what's going on in the mind in relation to these sensations. And see if you can embrace and allow all of it. No need to change anything. Just breathing with what is here, cultivating equanimity of the mind, its ability to stay centered. This ability to hold your experience and the ability to respond wisely rather than instinctively reacting. This is what you're practicing. This is the muscle that you're strengthening through this practice. Just observing the breath in the body and allowing the sensations and the experience You can gently scan the body from the top of the head, just checking. It's like allowing your awareness to sink like a wave through the forehead and the face, the whole head, the skull, down through the neck and the throat. Just scanning and checking the sensations in the body down into the shoulders. And you can continue ch checking and scanning in your own pace. And as you do, noticing the sensations, noticing the tendency to react to the sensations, but resisting the temptation. To react and instead stepping back to the witness, acknowledging, allowing, holding space for whatever is taking place in your body and in your consciousness. The quantum is mind. Noticing discomfort as discomfort, noticing unpleasant sensations, just noting, noticing perhaps some pressure, some contraction, some pain, just noting, naming those sensations for what they are. Notice what happens when you can allow going against the reactivity, the tendency to want to change and fix, and just allowing. And now seated for a while, perhaps there is some relaxation happening. Perhaps the breath is comfortable and soft and there's relaxation spreading in the body. And in the same way, noticing any pleasant sensation. Just making room 
for whatever sensations come and go. You can scan through your body in your own way. Notice if there is some relaxation, some pleasure, some pleasant sensation, some tingling. Perhaps there's some joy in the body. Noticing what happens when you make space, make room for this without following the impulse to control it, to hold on to it. Just staying centered within yourself, unmoved by sensations, stories in the mind. They can all be there, they can all come and go, but you remain in the center. The space holder for yourself, for the experience that are that is unfolding in the present moment, cultivating quality of equanimity. Whenever you notice the mind has wandered, no surprise, no problem. Just relax, release the thought and return to the body, to the breath, with the attitude of allowing, of fully allowing, not being tempted by the judgments of the mind that this experience should be different or that it should remain no clinging no grasping no aversion no numbing out just staying face to face with the naked reality of this moment with the quality of allowing whatever is here perhaps sensing the freedom in this, the freedom that comes from not being moved and run by the external circumstances and the momentary sensations in the body, the freedom that comes when you can hold your experience as it is while staying centered in yourself process of deconditioning the reactivity of the mind, reprogramming, of increasing the capacity to be with, to be with yourself, to be with the discomfort, to be with the pleasure, to be with whatever is arising without reactivity. This is the quality of equanimity. It's 
So if you've been practicing the whole sequence through the seven factors of awakening, also noting you can hold those qualities of mind without needing them to change or without needing holding on to them, just allowing them to unfold also. The mindfulness, and the energy, the curiosity and the investigation, the joy and the concentration, just allowing the qualities of mind to be there. No need to hold on, no need to grasp or do anything at all. Just sitting, breathing, allowing, and cultivating these awakening factors of the mind. And then bringing the practice to a close, perhaps by taking a few full breaths, maybe inviting some movement into the body. And when you're ready, opening the eyes, coming back to the room, and then inviting this quality of mind of equanimity as you move back into your day is a continuous, seamless flow where you can practice staying centered in yourself of not moving into reactivity of what is going on around but to keep cultivating this presence and this centeredness within yourself as you move through the day